Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at 10thacrefarm.com, and she has an article on five ways to prevent soil erosion. I do believe soil erosion is the largest problem facing humanity because I think our food system, if we can improve that, our water and energy problems become much easier to solve because we use so much water and energy to produce our food. And if we have healthy topsoil, food production becomes easier in and of itself. Now, the solutions that she mentions here are grassroots solutions, which I love, but she also has some great stats here about the major problem. Three tons of topsoil lost per acre per year. This is from a USDA report. I will link to it in the description. The overview is on page 10 of the PDF. And she also mentions how we may only have 60 years of topsoil left. Scientific American article citing a UN official with that estimate also saying it takes a thousand years to make three centimeters of topsoil. I've heard that estimate before, but if you do things right, you can create soil a lot faster. Joel Salatin's Polyface Farm has created a couple inches after 80 years, for example. But we'll get back to the solutions. Dump the corn and soy-based lifestyle. Just get rid of the GMOs. Get rid of the processed foods out of your life. Vote with your dollars. The second one, grow your own produce. Obviously, raised bed gardens pictured here. You could do permaculture gardens with perennials or mixed with annuals and perennials combined. Then there's also avoid tilling in small spaces. It's when you till up the soil that it kind of dries out. It kills a lot of the beneficial bacteria as well as the cover crops that are holding that soil into place. Manage water properly. Design your garden properly build little contour swales so as the if the land's hilly build some swales at the contour marks to help catch the water before it runs off with your topsoil also using rain gardens could be a great way to do things like some gravel here that goes into a mulch wood mulch too is important and this is uh leads us to point five mulch with plants now I do believe wood mulch is a good mulch, wood chips in a garden, but you have to let it compost a while because of the cation exchange capacity. Scientifically, it just leaches ni nitrogen out of the soil if you use wood mulch, unless you compost it first. So her suggestion is to mulch with weeds. A lot of weeds, that would be fine as long as they haven't gone to seed or you don't have any of the roots because a lot of weeds spread through the roots. Chop them up, throw them on the plants. Also, comfrey. Um, comfrey has really really deep roots and gets those nutrients right out of the deepest parts of the soil so you take the leaves of the comfrey you chop them up and you put them around the base of some plants here and then a few days later you can see it gets all brown it can be a very good cover crop and mulch to help prevent soil from washing away clover and flowers so having a living cover crop clover is a nitrogen fixing plant um, so it can help get nitrogen from the atmosphere and put it into the roots for your plant to enjoy and then there's also just other types of flowers and all sorts of living mulches out there for you. I'm going to link to this article in the description as well as the Scientific American and USDA report. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.